<clears throat> Welcome, Benchwarmers, to NFC East. Team number two, Dallas Cowboys, coming in second in the division. I think the Cowboys are going to regress. They're kind of an on and off team. Like, Dak's first year, they went 13 3, did really well, uh, fell flat in the playoffs. Next year, they completely missed the playoffs. Yes, they didn't have Zeke for six weeks, but I don't care. Your quarterback should be able to do it. I don't think Dak is that kind of quarterback. Weak. Weak. <laughs> uh, they, they did well in the playoffs. They got to the divisional again, actually winning a playoff game in the wild card weekend. But then this year, I think they're going to regress again. Yeah, they got... Amari Cooper now, and also Randall Cobb to kind of compliment him a little bit. And they got Jason Witten back. But, how good is Jason Witten going to be? Uh, I think Amari Cooper was very hot and cold in uh, Oakland as well. He could be the same here. I don't think Dak is a good quarterback. I think he's a, mm, he's a mediocre quarterback. And, you know, I just think they're going to regress a little bit. And teams, teams tend to do that. I could be wrong. Probably am. I'm wrong about a lot of things. But that's what makes this fun. So I can look back and say, what the hell was I thinking? So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Cowboys, Giants, week one. Cowboys at home. Shocking. Probably going to see this one at, the, at 3 o'clock. I don't even know what time this one is. But, uh probably going to be the one that's you know played on every tv because they always do that even though it's going to be a very boring game because the cowboys are going to win this i've already kind of voiced my opinion on the giants and i'm going to do it again even in further depth in the giants video week two redskins hopefully you've seen my redskins video if not go watch that first cowboys taking the l Redskins gonna have the upper hand here simply because Cowboys are gonna kind of be off to a bit of a slow start. Yeah, they're gonna beat the Giants, but that's the Giants. Giants aren't good. And week three versus the Dolphins. Go watch my Dolphins video if you haven't already, but the Cowboys take the win. It's at Jerry Worlds versus the Dolphins. Cowboys are the better roster, even if the Dolphins play Rosen at this point. Cowboys win. Week four, Cowboys Saints. Uh, Cowboys beat the Saints last year when the Saints were red hot. Nobody thought that was going to happen. Uh, the Saints hadn't punted in like four games or something like that. And then the Cowboys held them to under 20, I'm pretty sure. So, that being said, Cowboys take the L. Saints win. Uh, Saints are the better roster. It's also not in Jerry World this time. It's not at AT&T Stadium. It's at Saints. And that is big for the Saints. Saints have the better roster. Uh, I don't know if they have the better running back. They definitely have the better quarterback. Uh, they have the better defense. And the better... Wow, Michael Thomas or Amari Cooper? Hmm, it's kind of hard to decide. But Saints are going to... The Saints have the edge. Saints are taking the win. And now this next one. Packers at Jerry World. I think the Packers have proven they're not scared of the Cowboys. Especially if the Cowboys are at home. I think the Pack... Maybe the Cowboys take it. I could easily see them winning this game. But I'm going to give it to the Packers right now. Because, uh, as I said before, I think the Cowboys are going to regress a bit. Uh, I think the Packers are going to be good depending on the coach. Like that's the, that's the biggest thing with the Packers. Is how's it going to fit with the coach. But, assuming it goes well, Packers take the win in Jerry World. Then Cowboys Jets. Hopefully you've seen my Jets video. Cowboys lose three in a row 
They really gotta pick things up if they want to make it to the postseason. And uh, I already kind of went into this in the Jets video. Go watch that if you haven't. But uh, overall, Jets have the better roster. Uh, Hart, they don't have the better running back. Le Le'Veon Bell. It's hard to say how he's gonna do. He took a year off. Yes, that's he's less beat up. But that also means he could be out of practice. Ezekiel Elliott, he's fine. Uh, Jets, I think, have the better quarterback in Sam Darnold. Uh, I think the Cowboys have the better receiving core. Uh, Jets have the better defense. Overall, Jets have more pluses in that fight. So, Jets take the win. Then week seven, Eagles at Cowboys. Cowboys take the win against their division rival. Uh, I think the Eagles are going to struggle this year. They're going to put up a good fight. But overall, it's also in. It's, it's at AT&T Stadium. That's always a big factor in a stadium like that. So I think Cowboys take the win. And then a week eight bye week. That's not bad. I like the Redskins bye week better. But this is smack dab in the middle of the season. I think that's pretty good, too. So they're going to beat the Eagles, go into their bye week, come out rested, sweep the Giants. Why are the Cowboys a sleeper in this one? <laughs> I don't think they know what they're talking about. The Cowboys are the obvious better team. If anything, the Giants a sleeper because it's in New York. But I don't think a home... Home advantage is going to... I don't think home advantage is going to do anything for New York. Uh, for the Giants. I just don't. So, loot there. Cowboys are taking it week 9. Week 10 versus Vikings. Cowboys. W. It's at AT&T Stadium. That's the biggest edge. Vikings have the better defense easily. Cowboys, better offense. Now, the Vikings have the better wide receiver core. With Thielen and Thielen, <laughs> with Thielen and Diggs, don't know if Kyle Rudolph's going to be there. I've heard a lot more about trade talks with him now than I did before. But uh, Kirk Cousins, eh, he's a stat guy. He doesn't actually do too much. This will be a big game for the Vikings, and he doesn't do well in big games. So I'm going to give it to the Cowboys. I think Zeke's a better running back. Cousins versus Dak at quarterback. Well, I guess I'll give Cousins the edge, but I still I think the Cowboys defense will be enough to take care of the Cowboys offense or Cowboys the Vikings offense and the Viking uh, the God, I can't speak. The Cowboys offense is going to be enough to overcome the Vikings defense, especially at home. Then week 11 Versus the Lions. Cowboys. Another W. Uh, I've already kind of said in my last video. Redskins video. Go watch it if you haven't. Lions. Uh, I think they're going to be. More of the same. Belichick tree doesn't work out. Ever. So. There you go. Cowboys. Patriots. Week 12. Cowboys. Taking the W. You should have seen that in my Patriots video. Go watch it if you haven't. I'm going to say it a lot because I want you to go watch my crap. Emphasis on crap. Probably not going to make you want to watch it, but go watch it. Now, week 13, Bills Cowboys. All right, I've got my Bills video out. Cowboys win. <clears throat> At home, Bills have the better defense. Cowboys have the better overall team, though. They have a more balanced team. Much better offense than the Bills. Amari Cooper and Ezekiel Elliott are going to cause problems for the Bills. Jason Witten and Randall Cobb could open things up for uh, for them as well. Cowboys going to take the win. Now, Cowboys-Bears. Cowboys taking the L here. Bears winning. Bears defense. No joke. It's also at Soldier Field. It's going to be very difficult. Uh, I, Allen Robinson and Taylor Gabriel, they got Riley really... Riley Ridley in the draft, and I hated that because I thought it was a great pick. I thought it was a steal 
Uh, he's a great route runner. I think the Bears offense is going to still be more of the same, though. It's going to be serviceable, depending on Mitch Trubitsky. I don't think he's the guy, but I think the Bears still going to... Khalil Mack's going to eat Dak Prescott a lot. So, Bears win. Now, Rams, Cowboys. This one was... This one, I don't know. I don't know how the Rams are going to do. I don't know. And the Cowboys, I think the Cowboys are going to regress. Regress. I'm going to give Rams a win here. Cowboys taking the L. Rams defending NFC champions. Uh, they're a better team. They're very obviously a better team. Uh, they have the edge at coaching as well. But I don't know how, how they're going to... They could have a Super Bowl hangover. Similar to what, uh, what the Falcons had two years ago. Was it? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't exactly a serious Super Bowl hangover because they still made the playoffs in 2017. But it's not they're not going to be as dominant as they were throughout the regular season. Now, Week 16, Cowboys-Eagles. Cowboys took the first. And the Cowboys are not going to take the second. Eagles win. Eagles, I think, have the better defense. Uh, Carson Wentz is the better quarterback, even if he isn't back to what he was two years ago. The receiving core, I might give the edge to the Cowboys. Running back, I'd probably give the edge to the Cowboys too, but I think the Eagles with Jordan Howard can do just enough. And I think they'll be able to overcome the Cowboys, especially in Philadelphia. Redskins, Cowboys. Go watch my Redskins video. Cowboys upset the Redskins. Not too much of an upset, but in this 9-7, uh, that could be a playoff team, depending on how the rest of them go. I haven't quite figured out everything yet. I've got the AFC East figured out and videos already released, and I've got the, East fig the NFC East figured out and all written down. Still kind of working on that, though, obviously. So... If you liked the video, subscribe. If you didn't, subscribe anyway, because why not? I will see you in the next video.